In this video I'm going to be talking about giants, specifically how to kill them. Now they're pretty easy to kill but there are a few things you need to know and it all depends on your level too. So stay with me and let's get right to this. Okay first things first, giants are not mesable. That's right you have to either root them or you have to snare them and kite them around. That's the one thing about them. Today we're going to go ahead and uh, kill a few giants for you. I'm on my necromancer here. He's level 39. It's the closest thing I had to it. Depending on your level, it may be easier or harder. Necromancers can take them on a little earlier. Other classes can have to take them on later. Sometimes you may need a whole group depending on what you have. Giants uh, out here in South Row it can range from your level 30s, low, level, low to mid level 30s and some are even lower uh, they have some named ones so we're gonna go right into that this is my necromancer I've stripped down everything off him except this item here which gives him ultra vision and that is so uh, if it goes dark you don't have to see black okay so he's basically a basic level 39 so at level 39 you should get all of these stats see he has no focus items so if you're on a server uh, that doesn't have focus items like Rizlona or Eridun um, this is what you're going to get and it's more than enough with this character like I said you could probably take down the Giants at 28 29 but um, I'm going to give you an idea of how it's done okay spells that we're going to be using we're going to use engulfing darkness you don't have to use your biggest snare remember the higher level you are the greater chance this is going to land next thing we want to get your dots on there you want to get the dots that um, take the longest right here this one lasts a minute and 12 seconds then we're going to go down to Venom of the Snake here. And this uh, spell right here is 36 seconds. And then, of course, we have Boiling Blood, which is an even lower level one. This one goes for 42 seconds. Actually, it should go before Venom of the Snake, but we really want to stick it to him. So as a Necromancer, you're just going to use three of these spells. And you're going to use your pet. And you're going to use a, a Fear spell. Now, if you're an Enchanter, you're going to have to get a pet to fight one of these giants. So it's going to be a totally different situation. If you're a cleric, uh, you're going to have to root and shoot, and you're going to have to have even more levels because giants do have a lot of hit points. You can see how many hit points this can take off. You just do the math. It is a lot. So these things will kill the giant straight out. Necromancers have a very easy time of it. Wizards will have to do something a little different, as will mages and so on. So the keys to this battle here are we're going to have our Call of Bones up, which is a conversion. This will convert health to mana. We're going to take off the illusion right here. You don't need this. It'll run fine without it. And let's just sit down. Other spells that we're going to use, I'm going to demonstrate how to do this a root uh, method and I'm also going to show you how to do the method of uh, fear kiting them. So you can fear them or you can root them. Also we have feign death in case we get in trouble. We can go ahead and hit this and it'll feign death and we'll get out of trouble. Okay, so uh, First things first, you need to find a giant, but I would also recommend you have J Boots or Spirit of Wolf. This allows you to go faster. You can buy a potion that allow you to do this. Levitate is very, very nice too. I would recommend this. It's not mandatory, but uh, it always helps to have a little Levitate. Okay, so let's go out and kill some giants. That's what it's all about here. Now, the place we're at is South Row right here. Used to be that this cut off here, and this is Oasis. If you're on P99, you got Oasis over there, and you got South Row down here. A couple mobs that you may see down here, you may see Sand Giant Who Sam, who's about level 25. You may see the Ancient Cyclops. You may see um, Kazel, level 51. Oh, and look who is just showing up for dinner here. Ancient Cyclops. The reason why you want to kill him is because he's got Ring of the Ancients. If this were. Uh, P99 or if this were a TLP server as soon as he popped he'd be flopping over dead that's right so he's a rare creature right here this is him level 30 and guess who's over there sand giant who's Sam he's level 28 so they're kind of around the same level these guys you can take them much much earlier but they will be farmed especially the ancient Cyclops will be farmed aggressively so the first thing we're gonna do when we encounter him we're gonna go ahead and put snare up on him this has a casting time of two seconds. Now keep in mind it goes for every minute. Well, why am I not using a bigger snare? Because if it gets resisted I lose mana and this is sufficient to do what I need to do. So I'm going to pop that on him 
or another way you can do it is you can lead with root and root him in place in fact let's go ahead and root him in place and let me show you how you would do it if you're a wizard you want to go with this method uh, enchanter I also believe it's good to open with the root but it can be resisted and why am I using the lowest level root because lowest level root has less mana and uh, the cast time is too is pretty quick so you don't have to worry if you mess up with it okay so let's go let's go get him let's open with the root here now remember each class is going to be playing these guys a little different now the thing you got to worry about is he in some cases he can aggro other other mobs but in this case he probably won't because he's free out there uh, so there we go we rooted him next thing you do you put on the safety and this is a safety snare I put that on him so he ain't going anywhere and let's go ahead and drop this on him these three will probably kill this guy outright and this put on good old Voss here and here he comes see this is why you do it see how easy root breaks and put this on him see he's really slow gotcha with root and back up one thing to keep in mind is they have really large hit boxes that means he doesn't have to be so close to you and he can still hit you if I move in range a little bit like to about there he can probably hit me notice he can see see where the pet is he can hit there so he drops a fine steel sword and this is a thing that's really nice so you want to kill this guy you can also find this guy out in oceans of tears it's uh, easier to find him there okay so that's all it took we just needed three spells uh, to get him right there now if you want to get your health back we we'll just go ahead and do this this will heal us right back Okay, and we're going to go ahead and tap our way back. So you can see how easy it with the necro is with the necro. He just goes ahead and blasts him. And let's get ourselves a big one. On a TLP server, you're going to have sand giants that are equivalent to the sand giant elites we have on the live server. Um, but they're going to be kind of random there won't be too many of them in this zone but I picked this zone so that you can get a look at what the sand giants look like and so we can kill a couple of them if you want to okay so this guy here is level 37 this one's 38 and 36 so you can see at our level it's a good idea to try them at 39 of course you can do it earlier but you might need a little more gear because we use about almost half of well, maybe half of our mana, excluding the uh, Drain Spirit I cast it on him. And so it will take a little bit to, to knock him out here. In this case, we're going to go with a Fear Kite method. I'm going to show you how to do that. And once again, you can always open with the root because it only costs 30 mana. So you can start with the root, pile the stuff on, and then let him go. So I'm going to show you here. Let's get one of these guys that's by himself. Let's get a little mana up here. That should be sufficient to kill him. Look at all these guys all over. Let's get this guy over here. And there's a lot of these guys here. So we want to bring him over to us. But let's first uh, prep him and get him all set up. There we go. And we're going to put the safety on him. The safety snare. And get this. Here he comes. Here he comes. Let's kite him out here. He resisted that. Here he comes. And there we go. Fear him. Got like that. Now let's start putting some dots on him. Send the pet after him. See if we can get the disease. He may have resistance to disease. There he goes again. And there's a pet on him. Once a pet goes on him, just fear him again. And there we go. And you may not even need any more. Let's go ahead and put... He looks like he's resistant to disease. You find this out about him. There we go. And while that happens, we use up all our mana. So that's about half a tank of mana per kill. And let's go over here. And there we go. Got him. So once you're here, you can see what the damage uh, is to him. Look at all the damage that, that's hitting him. Um, here we go. It's right here. It starts right there. Sand Giant Elite. 
He's taking 92, 92, 92. You can count up how much uh, damage he's taking. Look at Venom of the Snake. It's hitting him for 210. It's a huge amount of damage. Look at this. Uh, Scourge has landed on him. Got him with all this, and we've killed him here. Once again, he drops fine steel weapons. But basically, that's the uh, strategy for killing sand giants. You want to either root rot them or you fear kite them like this. But you can see here that root will has a chance to break anytime he takes damage. So if he's not just sitting there, it, it doesn't break that you that immediately. But I've had experiences where you'll root them and the mob has a chance to break this. So root isn't that great, but you can see how I use root for only 30 mana. I use root to start off. So there's many times where you can cast the root and then you can lay all three of these, all the snare and all three dots, and all four of these you can lay on him. And once you get that going, you just back up and you sit back and watch the fun. We're going to try one more right here. Let's get a little mana back up. This is how to kill sand giants. You know, the thing about sand giants, I love to kill these guys because when I was a newbie, they used to just kill me all the time. And I'm sure it's happened to every one of you at some time or another. You're sitting there minding your own business and he, they're big. You should see them, but they just come right around the corner and they squish you. <laughs> no matter where you are, everybody's got a sand giant story or a hill giant story for sure. And it's always fun to just extract revenge on him. Okay, so here's another one here. Let's see if we can get uh, everything on him. Let's go with open with the root. And let's get the remember, snare goes next. Next one, let's get this disease on him, get the scourge on him. Got it. Phantom of the snake. He's in trouble, boiling blood, and watch your root here. It's got 34 seconds. Use most of our mana here. Now when he comes in, he this you can just kill him. This is how wizards would have to do it. They put a root on him, they back him up. Here he goes, cast the fear. See how the snare just stops him just in time. There you go, and send the pet on him. And sit back and enjoy the show. You have to be careful sometimes he gets out of range. You don't want him to go over to his other buddies. He resisted root. And that's it. It's just your four spells. It's about, you could probably kill three of these depending on if you have enough gear. And there's a sand of row. So yeah, now with a, with a wizard it's gonna be different. With an enchanter it's gonna be different. Um, a cleric, it'll be definitely be different. A bard, good luck. Paladin, forget about it. Um, you're gonna have to get a lot of levels. Like I think if you're uh, like a monk and you don't have a healer, you, you might have to be level 45 or 46. So this is just a, a demonstration. Once again, to recap, these guys here are the level of your typical sand giants you'll see on your TLP server. They're, they're basically the same thing. And they cannot be uh, mezzed at all, cannot be stunned. So you cannot use a spell like a Screaming Terror or anything on them. But your strategy is going to, the tactics are going to be to root them, either root route them, like a Shavira Shaman, you put a root on them and you go ahead and drop the dots on them. If you're a wizard, you root them and you nuke them. If you're uh, a class like a druid, you can go ahead and snare them and kite them around in a circle with the dot on them. But that's basically how you kill sand giants. Okay, so keep another thing to keep in mind before we go is they are pretty fast too, so you have to have the snare on them. They're not like uh, those slow mobs that you don't have to snare. These guys, you have to snare them because they run at about spirit of wolf speed and they will fix your wagon if they catch you. Keep in mind, they do drop a lot of platinum and they do drop these fine steel weapons here. And as you can see, we went ahead and killed uh, ancient Cyclops, which is gives us nice thing, which is for the J Boots quest. Or you can wear it if you want a wrist item at five intelligence. Okay, thanks for watching and uh, good luck hunting sand giants.